What's no. up guys? Welcome to Ray or uh actually we changed the name to of our channel, so the new name Double Doom, right? Yes. Okay. Double Welcome Doom. back to Double Doom! <laughs> Hopefully you guys like it. Um, yeah. We thought uh, Ray and Lonnie's wouldn't really like. Double Doom is catchier, and people are always like, "How do you spell Ray and Lonnie's?" Yeah. Like, so that's why it's just more convenient for you guys. Yeah. Double Doom. That's it. <laughs> Double Doom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So but that's um. The new channel name. But yeah, so the movie we're gonna review today is Upgrade. I know it's like been a minute yeah yeah but uh, i saw we saw for the first time yeah recently so uh we took a break because um i had school starting and yeah so we it's had been a busy schedule yeah we had a, a family wedding that we were like busy with and so that's why we've been a little bit preoccupied so we're sorry about that guys try to keep you guys entertained with the little yeah. videos but um so yeah upgrade uh it's basically this movie where this guy gets upgraded it's like the bionic woman right or yeah, what is that called? The movie? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Where she like turns basically into like space. Oh no. At the end. I thought you were talking about the other, the one that came out recently where the guy like gets robotic parts and it's like first person. Um, um, hardcore oh, Henry. That well, and it's then, kind of uh, like hardcore. Well, yeah, like the same kind yeah. of. And then the movie with uh, Black Widow. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Yeah. It's Lucy. Kind of, yeah. It. I don't see it being so much like Lucy, more so like, like. Uh, well, cause, well, Lucy, she took like a drug, right? Yeah. Is that what, okay? That's, that's the difference. Yeah, my dog's trying to play with her rope. <laughs> Watch, she's gonna bring it right to us. Yeah. But anyways, upgrade. Um, the movie playing. starts off, uh, basically it's this mechanic and he likes to do things very old school or old fashioned. This is like in the future, in, right? Yeah. It's based in the future. It's, it's not even too far in the future. Yeah. So. Like um, people still driving cars like today, but they have, like, they have like these future cars where they drive themselves and it's like a little hotel room, I guess you can say, right? Like, yeah. It's, like inside. I kind of, I don't think I would like it. It's, uh, it's It awkward. seems very overpriced. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but he's the type that likes to like buy like old cars and like fix them up. So, so like, by hand. So. so yeah, he bought. Um, he's selling this car to this guy. He's super rich, super smart, and he's been building these computers. And he has um, basically uh, his own company, kind of like Google, but for like robots. Yeah. So. Um, super rich. It. Out of nowhere, basically, these people, they, they track his car and they take control of it. Or his girlfriend's car, because she has one of the automated ones. Yeah, that and uh, they make them crash. And uh, she... I let go. She, um, basically, they crash. And the car the guys, gets hijacked, right? Yeah, and like then the something. guys who hijack the car, they, like, shoot his wife in the chest. Which was weird. It's like, why... Why were you? Why? why did you guys even kill her? Like she's not even yeah. important, honestly. I don't think it ever really comes back to why, right? It's just like it's just kind of like a just cause thing. Well, he asked, and he's like, "Oh, she was just an extra bit of money," and it's like, for what? Like, well, that's cold, <laughs> right? Like, like you guys really just killed her for nothing. Yeah. And, but the um, main point of crashing the car was to paralyze the dude. And he wasn't paralyzed until they shot him in the neck with something. Yeah, or they, they severed his yeah. um, his spine. Yeah. And then um, he he meets with the doctor after trying to commit suicide, and they. It's uh, very sad in the beginning. Yeah. Like you feel his pain, like that actor in the beginning, like he lost his wife, he's completely paralyzed, like he tries to commit suicide. It's like. Oh. Yeah, you feel bad for him. Yeah, like I wanted to cry. And then he... Like, he starts crying. The only person that really helps him is his mom, like... Yeah, and then um, the cops, like, they really can't do shit. As, as of now, they still can't do shit, so... <laughs> nothing has changed. Um, yeah. But anyways, he, um... So the, the rich guy that he sold the car to, he puts a chip in his neck, and he's like, you can have this chip, it'll be able... It'll make you able to walk again and do everything. But... You can't tell anybody. It's an experiment. Yeah. He said that this little chip can do literally anything. 
and will change the world. It's like a little itty bitty chip, probably like an inch, not even, mm -hmm. big. And yeah, he says it can bridge the gap between his brain um, and his severed, like basically the rest of his nerves because it's completely cut. It, it'll bridge the gap to where he can walk again and everything. And have yeah, and so like after the um, after the surgery, he pretty much the movie starts and he is on his search for like who killed his wife and he kills this one guy who's in who is a uh, retired uh, veteran and like it's kind of messed up because like the guy he's a he's a retired veteran one and two like he says he has nothing to do with it and then on the top knife? of that no yeah, yeah? the first oh, guy. Okay. And uh, and then on top of that, he has kids. So, yeah. And like I, I felt kind of bad for him because it's like, dang, like now their kids don't have a father, and he said he didn't have anything to do with it. But the thing is, when he goes to try to find out information, like, <clears throat> who hired you guys? Why did you guys kill my wife? The dude, like, like you know, he's like fighting him, right? Because he's basically trespassing on this house, so right, he's like, you know, like get the hell out of my house, and so he's like trying to fight him because he doesn't want to leave. And he doesn't really know how to fight. I guess this is like his first fight, right? Yeah. And so he's talking. The 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 actual the little robot is actually a character in this movie. His name is Stem. The name of the program. And Stem, when given permission, can take control of your body. So Stem is over here. So then the dude asks permission, like, hey, like, help me fight, defend myself against this guy because I don't know how to fight. So he's fighting and fighting him, and. And Stem just like kills him. He kills him like no like, like just no hesitation. Just kills him like whoa. And then like the dude is in shock. Obviously he's back in control and he's over here throwing up. Oh my god! I just killed a guy. And I feel like that's kind of a plot hole because the robot told him he's like I can track every everywhere you've left a fingerprint, mm -hmm. but um, later on in the movie when the cop uh, comes in to check on him. Uh, he says, "Oh, she she saw your you left a boot print, and it's like, well, why didn't you, why didn't you catch that? Like, you're the robot who said you could figure out all you could retrace all the well, steps, right? Yeah. So, I even though Stem advised him to take off his shoes, like when walking in the house, there's still a boot print. There's yeah. And um, apparently he can't." Um, he can't find, uh, he can't track, like, uh, little... Like, non-electronic stuff, I guess? Yeah, it's weird, like, because even, even our cars today, they have computers, so there's... Yeah. There's some control in it. Like, he, like, basically, STEM has control to hack and hijack other electronic stuff, but some stuff, I guess, that are more mechanical, he can't. For example, cars, but cars run on some electricity, like, yeah. you know? I don't know. Anyways, uh, so the movie goes on, he's tracking down the killers, and uh, we're going to fast forward because there's a lot that goes on. Mm -hmm. A lot of and action, definitely. Yeah, the fighting in this movie is actually pretty cool, like, for, yeah. for recent action, because most of the action movies lately haven't been all that great. But, uh... Yeah. Mind yeah. you, everyone else in this movie is, still believes that he's in a paralyzed in a wheelchair, just like in a scooter, just yeah. going around like this. And he's really like at nighttime going out like fighting bad guys and stuff. Yeah, like that part is cool. Um, and then like we get towards the end and you find out who the the real villain is. And I'm not gonna like, say. It's a it's a pretty great twist. Yeah, at the end, it's and it's also pretty sad. Like what happens. Yeah, like you, yeah. I kind of saw it coming, but at the same time, it's like, ee, like that was, like it was kind of left field at the same time too. Yeah, I, like yeah. And then, um, like the ending, uh, should we spoil it? Mm, I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, I, I kind of do, so I You I always it. want to spoil everything. The movie's old already. You always want to spoil everything. Alright. Well, it's because I, I kind of want to explain, like, if there's a possibility of a part two or not. It leaves you at a, cliff, at a cliffhanger. Like, there's a cliffhanger, and it, it kind of doesn't 
makes sense. Like the ending. Oh. Well, I can't <laughs> we say. We can discuss it later, but. Well, yeah, it, 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 it kind of doesn't make sense because, like, the reason that they give for uh, the action that happened, <laughs> I have to speak all weird. Uh, the reason that they give is that something broke, and it's like, well, wait a minute, like, this is still, like, this is still, like, there's no way to fully break something, like, at least as far as the human body goes, it always repairs itself. So, I don't see how... Is mine? Yes. But they don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, they, okay. they would figure it out. Okay. But anyways, like, uh, there's no way that, like, it would be broken forever. And they, they're like, oh, well, it's broken, so what? that's it. And and then, like, I don't know. It, I just feel like there's a possibility of a part two where yeah. uh, something happens to where he comes back. And, um, but yeah, uh, as far as the movie goes, like, it's super... That was so choppy. You were confusing me, and I just saw the movie. I can't explain it without saying it, like, and you don't want me to ruin it, so... But yeah, like, it's... It was really... It was a really good movie. Like, I wasn't even expecting it to be that good, because I saw Hardcore Henry, and that movie is, like... It's fun, but it's not something that, like, I want to go back and watch, like, a million that times. That was too much movement for me. It made me... Dizzy. Yeah, it's that, like playing a first person yeah, shooter. Yeah, it's like a video game. I like it because I play first person shooters. But, but even video games, like playing COD, I get dizzy. I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't. It's too much for me. But that's, that's just me. I don't know. Like, I'm, sen yeah. I'm sensitive to that stuff. But as far as the movie goes, I definitely give it a uh, give it a full price. You do? I think I'd watch, I definitely would have watched that in theaters if I'd known, like, like, the trailers haven't shown us anything that, like, makes me go, like, oh, wow, you know? I think it was a fun movie. It was, you know, enjoyable. It wasn't, like, something that I'll be like, oh, my gosh, I want to see it again. Like, you know, like, okay, that was a cool movie. I would give it a rental. Oh, man. I mean, it was a really good movie. It was enjoyable. It's it's good for like maybe like a friends night, you know, have pizza night, you know. It's definitely a good movie, but I mean, I guess it's just because it wasn't. I don't know. 